in the diagram, O is the center of the cycle and ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. OB and OD are drawn. If O1 is equals to 4x plus 100 and C is equals to x plus 34, calculate giving reasons the size of x. So I'm given C. It is equals to x plus 34. I have O1, okay? Uh, but C plus A should give me... C plus A should give me 180 as A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if I can find A in terms of X, then I can say A plus C is equal to 180. But I can do that. I can find A in terms of X. I know fully well that O1 should be equal to 2 multiplied by A. Angle at the center, twice at the circumference, okay? So O1 is 4X plus 100, and it is equal to 2 multiplied by A. If we divide both sides by 2, we're going to get A being equal to 2X plus 50. So this is A, okay? So what am I proposing? I'm proposing that A plus C should give me 180 degrees, okay? Uh, the opposite angles of a cyclic quad are supplementary. So in place of A, I have 2X plus 50. In place of C, I have X plus 34, when it goes to 180 degrees. So 2X plus X, that is 3X. 50 plus 34, that is 84. This is equal to 180. So 3X is equal to 180 minus 84. I think it should be 96. But I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to put it in my calculator and see what I get. Yeah, it is 96. And then 96 divided by 3, that is 32. So I'm getting 32 is equal to, x is equal to 32 degrees. Uh, that is 8.2. Uh, let's see if we can answer 8.3. So 8.3, right. In the diagram, O is the center of the larger circle. Okay, we have O as the center of the larger circle. OB is the diameter of the smaller circle. Code AB of the larger circle intersects the smaller circle at M and B. Okay, so I'm told that AB is a diameter. As soon as I hear AB is a diameter, I know that M is 90, right? A diameter subtends the 90 as a circumference. Uh, let's hear the stories. We want to find 8.3.1, write down the size of angle OMB. Uh, like I've said, angle O, M, B is equal to 90 degrees. Uh, that is because it is subtended by a diameter, okay? At the circumference of a circle. So it should be 90 degrees. The question that follows, 80.3.2, if AB is equal to square root of 300, so this entire AB is square root of 300, and OM is 5 units, so OM is 5 units. Calculate given reasons the length of OB, okay? We want to find OB. It seems like we can use theorem of Pythagoras here because we have an angle of 90 degrees. But can we find the length of MB? Because what we are looking for now is the length of MB. If we have the length of MB, then we can find OB using theorem of Pythagoras. Let me show you how we can find the length of MB. MB is equal to AB divided by 2. That is because if M, OMB is indeed 90, then that means OM bisects AB, theorem 1. Okay? So we know that MB is equal to square root of 300 divided by 2. If I go ahead and use theorem of Pythagoras, um, Seems quite fishy. I don't know why it is 4 marks <laughs> because it is pretty, it's pretty much straight uh, forward. Okay, so if I go ahead and use theorem of Pythagoras, I'm going to have OB squared being equals to MB squared plus OM squared. So OB squared will be equals to MB. So MB square root of 300 divided by 2 squared plus om om is five units 
So I have five squared, okay? Um, so OB squared will be equal to, uh, let me put that in my calculator. So square root of 300 divided by two squared plus five squared, uh, that is 100. So OB is equal to 10, okay? If we take um, square roots on both sides, we will get OB is equal to 10. So yeah, there we go. That is 8.3.2.